is our year to celebrate Parliament in the making, not just the 800th anniversary of the sealing of Magna Carta, but also, as you will know, the 750th anniversary of Simon de Montfort's Parliament. Today's events bringing together the four surviving originals of Magna Carta in Parliament will provide a truly extraordinary opportunity for all those participating. We have been custodians of the uh, Magna Carta that in a moment I hope you'll all see uh, since 1215. It has never been outside our archives. Magna Carta lays down the first constitution for Parliament. It doesn't use the name, but the thing is really there. But in a way, Magna Carta is the birth of Parliament. You see the beginnings of Parliament in Magna Carta. So to have the four original Magna Cartas brought here in the mother of Parliaments is a momentous, atmospheric and exciting event. I've been working for about two and a half to three years trying to bring four very important constitutional documents. The only surviving of the 1215 Magna Carta to Parliament has been the biggest challenge. Um, and some of that has been around making sure we have the correct environment, including lighting. Um, the items will be shown in the robing room. The Magna Carta's arrived, they will be checked by Conservators to make sure that we comply with the conditions of loan, which includes any damage that may have been caused through transit. Constitutional documents, particularly very, very important constitutional documents, are the most challenging for a loan re loans registrar to manage. And it's unlikely that this kind of event will happen again in my lifetime. In the exhibition uh, that's behind me, we've actually brought together a whole series of documents which relate very strongly to Magna Carta. Uh, if you believe, as we do, that Magna Carta is essentially the beginning of Parliament, and the documents behind me are kind of their family tree, kind of Parliament's family tree, really, over eight centuries. The highlight, in many ways, is the Petition of Right of 1628, which many people hold to be on a level with Magna Carta. Sitting alongside the Petition of Right, um, three really important 17th century documents as well, um, the Habeas Corpus Act, uh, the Draft Declaration of Rights, and the Bill of Rights of 1689. And how long do you think it would take to write that? A long time. A long yeah. time. How do you fancy it? No. Do you do write handwriting competitions? <laughs> it's tiny. It's yeah. as tiny as like a tear, an M-shaped okay. tear, where someone's pulled it off. Obviously a lot. I mean, it's the first time the four Magna Cartas have been together for 800 years. It's an event in history and I feel really lucky to be here. It was amazing to see a document that's so, dis that's so significant, I think, all our countries, um, Commonwealth countries as well as the UK, and to see something that's so well preserved after 800 years, I think it's so impactful. And I think, I don't know, I, I wish sometimes that we could look back and have more of that, more preservation of our do documents, because that's our history, that's our background, that's something that we should all be excited to see and experience. A very good foundation for human rights as well, because it serves as the the foundation, the founding stone for human rights. This could be like a once in a lifetime experience and something I might never see again in my life. So I'm just trying to make the most of it.